So, hello everyone. I'm Bertin from Congo in Africa. I'm Daniel from Uganda, Africa. And we made a video about racism in India recently, but we saw something else on internet. It was made by the Indian Times staff, which is an Indian media here. So, we were interested in what they have been saying there. They interviewed Africans about racism in Africa, like some stuff related to racism. And as we are living in India right now, it interested us and we wanted to make a reaction video about it. So we wanted to make a reaction to that according to our own experiences of two years that we've spent in India and we tell you what we think about India. So reacting about this is not saying what you're going to say is the only thing which is in India. There are so many things which are in India, yes, of course. But what you are going to say is based on our experience as black people in India. So let's see if what the media says is true or it's wrong. So the video is on YouTube. The video is, is on YouTube and it has been posted in 2015. Yeah, and the problem is that when you are an African boy like us who came in 2018 and you watch such a video, you don't think of coming to India. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so the title is India Times, No Country for Black Men, a Western Issue in Existent in India. A Western Issue. Ex in Existent in India. Meaning? Uh, meaning uh, that racism has been borrowed from the Western culture and imported into the Indian culture. Does that already mean that racism is in India? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. A good logo, man. I've seen Benke. I've seen Benke. Pagal. Mandaria. Buta. Kalea. Pagal. Jutia. Jutia. Monkeys. <laughs> One thing first, no one have ever called me monkey. Yeah, no one has ever called me a monkey. I, I don't know for, for girls, this of, uh, is it Bandaria? Bandaria, female monkey. I don't, I don't know for girls, but if you're a girl and you're in India, I would like you to tell me if there is someone who called you so. But for me, it have never happened, especially this one of monkey. Yeah. For Pagal, I, I, I was once in a rickshaw and the guy who was driving the rickshaw was calling someone else Pagal. Yeah, and Pagal... Like they call each other Pagal. Yeah, and Pagal, they use it a lot, especially I would see uh, most Indians reacting to other people like, Are ya, ye Pagal, <laughs> something like that. So, I don't think it is something, because I call my classmates that and they call me that, so... What? Yeah. <laughs> in fact the first time i had it they told me that do you know what pagal means or yeah. do you know what chutia means and they told me what it meant i was mm. like okay so and they were like uh we call this to each other and if you feel uncomfortable if you don't want us to call you that you can tell us but i was like it's okay and when i some of my friends call me on phone yeah yeah and i don't see I don't know. See. Benchu, Pagal, Bandaria, Buta, Kalia, Pagal, Jutia, Jutia. For Kalia, it's normal. <laughs> I've heard it a lot, but it's normal. I'm oh. a black and I'm proud of myself. Yeah. And before before I was called Kalia, I remember I was seated in a rickshaw and uh, I saw a guy calling Kalia. So I looked around trying <laughs> to think that someone was calling yeah. me. Yeah. But I saw uh Indian who was an Indian who was calling another Indian fellow Indian Kalia. Okay, then, maybe I I think the thing is mm. like if I give my own experience when I was coming to India, when I came to India, like my other fellow Africans told me that if you hear somewhere they're saying Kalia, they're talking about you. Maybe that's why it's sticking in yeah. our mind to think that So I thought they were calling that me and uh when i saw a fellow Indian being called kalia and he didn't mind at all yeah and uh, <laughs> yeah, i yeah i even like, i even saw so most of the comments at all. most of the comments on my last video of people saying that uh uh they call each other kalia in families if if yeah. your, your skin is darker than others they can call you kalia and it's no offense yeah and i read a tweet which was made by one of the indians saying that he even calls his son kalia and it's something amongst most Indians are mm -hmm. uh, making fun of each other and giving each other names and I don't know. 
Okay. Let's go. Uh, monkeys. First lie ever, <laughs> which have ever existed on the planet. This is how African, African nationals are uh, often <laughs> greeted in India. This is the biggest wow. lie which ever happened. No one ever greets me calling me Kalia. No one, okay, like, they can call you Kalia, like, like, yeah, if it's someone, spontaneous, but yeah. they, they can't reach on you and greet you like, hey, Kalia. <laughs> no, no one ever think that. In the times, where did you get this? Who told you this? Seriously. Ma- ma- maybe Africans of that time, they were calling them that, but for me, it have never happened. Seriously, like, this is one of the most things that provoked me to make yeah, a reaction yeah, yeah. about this video. Because sure. <laughs> saying that we are greeted like that in India, it's so false, because in most places that we've gone to... One thing, you, one thing which I know, any person mostly us. Indians, when they see you as yeah. a foreigner, or as a black, let me just say as a foreigner, most of them is hi bro hi bro yeah. like for hey, me bro, it's hi yeah. bro hi bro and some of them will ask for a selfie that's the exactly. thing which i know but no one has have ever come to greet me and call me pagal <laughs> or, or call me kalia never never I, I, I think this is yet. this is the biggest lie which we saw in this video and which yeah. provoked us how they greet african nationals yeah hmm. this was the deal breaker for us to make a okay so let's go there is more coming <laughs> In the times. I've experienced the good, I've experienced the bad, I've experienced the ugly. I've, you know, I've experienced a lot of things. Yes. The same is high. I wasn't really expecting this, and they told me it's a loving country and everything. But come here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the, the guy started saying he experienced the good and he experienced the bad. So let's see if he's going to speak about the good and the yeah. bad. And, and, and this girl also started with racism is high to the level he was not experiencing it. Did he go to USA? <laughs> <laughs> they told him it's a, it, it's a loving country. Yeah. Okay, let, let's go. Let's this, go. And they told me it's a loving country and everything. Yeah. For coming here, yeah, it's the other way around. around. People run away from you. When you want to stop somebody, at least you want to be a friend to somebody, they told you no. You can't be my friend. Stop lying! <laughs> Stop lying, my friend! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry for saying this, but this guy is lying. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something honestly. Yeah. This guy is lying. If you are a foreigner, especially me as an African, if I walk where there are other uh, Indians, like most of m- most of them even want me to speak to them if you're in the street and whatever they want you to speak to them how will they run away from you if you try to approach them it's impossible i don't know what's made him to say that but i've never been in that experience where i try to speak to people and then i ask them to be my friends and then they run away from me i don't know i, I i've never seen this thing here i've not experienced that too and uh i don't know maybe it's his experience <laughs> <laughs> He wants to be a friend to somebody. They told you no, you can't be my friend. What? <laughs> you go into metro and you stand very close to the person. Why do you go? The next thing the person is gonna do is if you're standing together, he's just gonna quietly move away from that spot. Wait, no. but wait, wait, wait. But you stand close to the person and mm. then the person move from that spot and go far. No, he said that he didn't go away from the spot. Yeah. He said that away. Yeah, he's he's just going. Wait, sh- should I remove it out? No, no. Well, if that person, it depends on which person. Mm-hmm. If it's a girl, then I would understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if it's a boy, then, well, maybe he's right. But for girls, most girls, yeah. Any girl would do that, whether African or Indian, it doesn't matter. If you are a stranger and you, uh, and you sit approach next them, to, hmm. s- you sit next to someone, they are most likely to move away. Yeah for girls for girls it's true yeah uh, uh, uh mostly for men's what happens to me mostly for men's if i sit close to them they tend to talk to me yeah like asking you your name your country uh students job such stuff but i've never been in that position where i come to sit or to stand close to a person if it's a boy or a man and he moves away yeah. i've never seen that Maybe and, he had his own experience, which yeah. was like that. I and, don't know. And another thing to add on that, if that were true, that Indians will move away from people when you sit next to them, hmm. we should have experienced that in our le- in our exactly. last travel yeah, when exactly. we were going to ride exactly. in a uh, bus. Because uh, uh. remember, people gave us seats. Yeah. We were not supposed to sit uh, uh, two uh, or uh. three, and 
people gave us seats yes, and we yes. stuck to mm. them and maybe we can infect them with corona exactly. or they but they were not afraid us. they gave us but a place they were place. not afraid they mm. were welcome they gave us a place to sit and i don't know maybe different okay. experiences different times and change the direction mm. when they see you they will call a hunky like a fish like as if we have disease or we are smelling or something it just change the direction maybe this guy experienced it once and then he yeah. say when they see you because i don't know how it, it can be embarrassing if yeah. every time when you meet an african you have to every time when you meet an african you have to it's embarrassing what if you are in, at the same university with him so you'll be walking like this <laughs> it's impossible guys me if there is any african who is against me yeah. who is against what i'm saying you should try to bring proofs of yeah. when you were walking in the street and then people cover their nose because they, they they think you're smelling i don't know maybe just yeah. his own experience and, I, and another thing i've kind of had a friend who has experienced something like that but it was something you see that was unconscious not like uh someone did it because of his color it was during the time when corona was starting yeah so when we approached this guy going to buy something he just put on his mask and for me i understood because it's corona and we are foreigners yeah. you don't know where i'm coming from yeah. so you have to protect yourself so my friend was like ah oh, this guy is racist but i was telling my friend mm. calm down you don't know what this person yes. is thinking yes for mm. him to cover his nose with the mask mm-hmm. so i said give him a chance and to our surprise wanted to buy something which was not in his shop and he helped us get it from somewhere in the end my yes, friend sir. is the one who was telling me yeah. that the guy is actually not racist yeah before i changed his mind so so sometimes <laughs> you just need to give people chance to express understand themselves. why hmm. i understand we have insecurities but give people chance yeah yeah because you know like oh a monster is around <laughs> a monster is around so move away from the monster do you know what a monster is Indians <laughs> don't gather everywhere like um, wait, 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 you know what a monster is? <laughs> Indians we just gather everywhere like um, a Kalyan or no. something historic is happening and they just It's normal! People gathering around you as a foreigner, it's normal. Yeah. Like uh in Africa, in, in Africa I think this this thing happened. Let's na- let let's say not not only in villages, even if you are in town and let's say a white man comes in the shop we are black when a white man comes in the shop almost everyone will try to help yeah. him come closer to him maybe listen to him does he need something and so i think it's the same thing which usually i have even one friend who is usually uncomfortable with that every time when he says like every time when we enter a shop you see everyone will come behind you when you're walking everyone is following you i, th- I think the only idea which is there is that they are trying to be helpful to you yeah so that if you need something they can be close to you yeah, and this one of gathering around you and they are trying for, to know about exactly you. Ha, 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 yeah to know and, about and you and mostly uh you give if you give them a chance you end up getting friends from that True. group True. yeah exactly yeah it's happened and to me it's happened to me many times like yeah. i collected numbers from people take selfies with them if you even get to one who can speak english yeah it's easy to get friends like that because sometimes you find the first people bunch of people like maybe to have come mm. speak to you they don't know english yeah so they call their friends yeah yeah sure some sure. of them who know english I got to it. help them translate sometimes they even questions. make video calls yeah with their parents hey mama see yeah. him, him. Like, <laughs> i get it i get it so gathering yeah. around you is not because you're an alien my brother yeah. it's, it's just because they want to know more about you yeah. <laughs> it'll be like looking and speaking language calling names or sometimes they'll just talk among themselves they'll start laughing while staring at you looking at you directly i couldn't like go out to the mess to eat because of the way people laugh at me in the mess so they will point at you like this <laughs> and then our face people talk <laughs> See, see one thing one thing which you just want to say these these yeah. two guys mm. uh the mr nora i think he's nora mm. and the girl anna i think one problem which they have is okay l- l- let me be honest it's mm. insecurity yeah it's insecurity when you are insecure about your identity about yeah. i don't know your color skin and other things everything which people are going to say near you it's going to be like that yeah. if okay let's say if you're a star and then you're passing and then people are pointing your f- a finger at you and maybe speaking and laughing and calling names you feel proud of it yes they're talking about me yeah. but when you're insecure about it and then you hear people talking around you it makes you they're talking bad of me and what yeah and another thing is sometimes when you're insecure 
and you don't get past that and give people chance it mm. affects you in the long run and you find like you just giving the people who are talking bad about you but most of the times you when you ask Indians cuz some of them most of them they are so honest they will tell you what they are talking yeah, about yeah yeah exactly and i yeah. have friends when mm, they are mm. talking about me yeah before i ask yes. them even when i'm not interested yeah, in asking yeah. them uh, what they uh, were talking uh, about me they tell me like this, this guy was asking me about you yeah, and tell me this and happened it's, and, and it's nothing negative this happened to me many times i think okay let me let, let me say something or switch maybe it's my be secret yeah uh usually you know in hostel the way girls walk around like as she said going to the mess yeah and then you have a girl is walking around if you have your indian friend close to you the guy will start talking about those girls hey bro do you see those girls i want african girlfriend i want african girlfriend and then obviously when they're talking <laughs> like that, they have to look at you yeah and then okay me when they tell me that i just tell them simple go and say hi to her and start talking to her it's simple <laughs> as that because i think it's something which is which is uh which is human everyone want to know something which is different like you are indian you are used to your to your fellow skin indians, to your fellow indians yeah. at least you need to have something like even me also i i would love to have indian friends female friends as as uh as male friends because it they have obviously they will have something different than what i've been used to since as I was in Africa. Yeah, exactly. So I think one of the problem here might be insecurity when they talk about you and then you're afraid. Yeah. Me in the mess. So who point at you like this? And then I face people touching my hair. Is it the first time that I see? <laughs> can you can you explain why people will touch your hair? Okay, <laughs> the most question that I've got from Indian girls and especially friends they ask me why Africans, you know, put on <laughs> fake hair. Come on, come on, say it, say yeah. it, pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fake hair. So they want to know. They, because uh-huh. for them, to them, it's like, why aren't these people proud of their own hair, their natural hair? Why do they need to put on uh, wigs and stuff and make it look wrong or uh, mm-hmm. long or whatever? Mm-hmm. So. If they want to touch your hair, they want to know what makes you think that having uh, fake hair on makes you better or whatever. Yeah, from from what I know as well, I've seen many times uh Indians, maybe I was with a girl or a friend or whatever. Like that's trying to know how is your hair touching your hair yeah. and that's even, even me as a boy it happened. Even me as a boy it happened. People ask me my hair why is it short? Why and they even come and touch see, it's very hard and some stuff like that yeah. i think the only thing which is there is exactly as you said yeah. they they don't know about our hair so they want to know how our hair is yeah but let me, let me also explain this to indians uh maybe you may be asking yourself why do african girls have hair which is not natural the simple answer which is there is uh the african hair it's very hard the african hair it's very hard like even if you touch mine right now it's it's very hard it cannot be soft as the indian hair and the same way it take too long to grow so maybe if you cut your hair now for it to grow and reach that level i don't know which can be near the chest how long can it be a year or yeah i think like sometimes it doesn't even go that yeah yeah it's, it's always uh you can you can even keep your hair in one full year and like the maximum will be s- s- some something i don't know yeah, how i remember like my hair i haven't cut it yet i last cut it when i it was in december yeah but still it's like still you like see this, it's this. more than six months yeah. but the hair didn't grow it so you know girls want to look beautiful and you know <laughs> hair hair yes hair it's one of the things which make <laughs> a girl to look nice so they just buy other stuff which can be like braids and then they add it on their hair to make it look nice and i think it's beautiful i love it <laughs> there is no judgment about that so let the africans do it but of course they have also to understand that yeah. is their hair and be proud of it yeah yeah there, there is no need of feeling insecure when people touch you when you are the one who put it on your hair yeah. so <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. Say, oh, what? a police guy would just say because in africa is guilty of the charge without even finding out and this is misinformation they say all this thing. uh on this on this matter concerning police mm-hmm. like they see you and then they charge you just because you're an african i think it need uh it means there was something which happened when you were there like a police can just find you in the streets and then block you and say you are an african so i charge you i've never seen that uh, I, I, I even one thing which i'm usually surprised with uh 
all the time since I came in India, I've been roaming around with the bike, with whatever, I, whatever it be. There have never been any single time, even in the night, where a policeman stopped me. Never. And when I go to police is when I'm going to register my staff to renew my FRO or whatever. But I've never been in a position where a policeman stopped me. So I think, I, I don't understand why is he saying that a policeman will find you just because you're an African. And uh, I don't know, I haven't had any encounter with the police. I only meet them when I go to register my staff and they are so mm. helpful and respectful and professional. Yeah. The only experience I have with the police is my neighbor. Because I was once seated out on my balcony, then I saw the guy, I was like, oh, this guy is a cop. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he's so friendly, he's the, I don't know, his family is so friendly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. don't have anything to say about the I, I I faced something also, also, I faced also something which if I was negative, it was going to make me to say that's police of India are bad. Yeah. Like, I think I told you, a policeman who slapped me for no reason. <laughs> yeah, a policeman slapped me for no reason. I was just riding my bike and I break somewhere and he came out of the car shouting and blah, blah, blah. And he slapped me. Okay, because I didn't want to react. I didn't want to do many wrong stuff. I know I'm not in my country. I can do something and they can create anything which they want against me. So I just yeah. decided to go. But so you say that I you, think you, 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 the brakes were behind his car, right? Like, like I was in front of his car. Yeah. He saw how I was coming. Like, I just came out of uh, of a place where I couldn't see him. Yeah. And when I was trying to escape, I saw his car and I took a break directly. Like, I didn't even hit his car or anything. We were still a, a very long distance, like, oh. which which could make us far. But then the guy just got, he came out speaking some good variety to people and then to me, and I couldn't understand him. But I don't care about such things. Yeah. Like the, anyone would slap you. Why would you think anybody's car? They think, <laughs> but 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 is that that's not a reason. If yeah. if I was in my country, I was going to do something back. But India is not my country. I can't try that. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Okay. The problem. The problem. I, I think with this guy, maybe he found himself one time in a problem, and he didn't have time to explain himself, and he was already charged. Yeah. This one, yeah. I can say it's true. In India, there is one problem. I don't know if it's in India or if I'm the one also is wrong about this. Most of the times, I myself have been charged or like when you are accused of something, they don't ask you what's really happened. They go first into judging you. It's happened in schools, in ma many places. So I think m maybe that's what he's trying to talk about, that sometimes they see you, yeah. they don't want to listen to you, they don't want to listen to you, your point of view. Or maybe you did it because you're used to it and something like this, but they, they'll be first to judge you. So I think he can have a point which can be yeah, true. That, on, that, on that point, yeah, he has a point. And now, uh, this is misinformation. They say all these things because they want you to react. And if you react, they gather, they gather up you and beat the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah. If, if people provoke you, why why would you try to react when you know that this is not your country? Obviously, they will finish you. <laughs> that one is normal. And you know, there is a problem when people are in a group. Like, they motivate each other to do so. Anything, whatever it is, it be right or it be wrong. When you're in a group, you feel the power of doing it. Yeah. A lot of people just come and join the beating. But they don't even know what is actually happening. They don't even know what happened. It's the pressure of the group. They don't know. They just join and beat you up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I remember about this. I think you saw maybe videos of, of this, of uh, uh, people were beaten in the center of, of the city, in, in the, on the site of everyone, Nigerians. Yeah, I yeah. Saw that. Even police was there and other stuff. And I think uh if you see if you see what happened there like people were motivating each other okay let's watch it first let's watch it first <laughs> Okay, first thing I don't know if you noticed it's people who are active in this mm -hmm. are young. Yeah. The police and these guys who are there, of course, they seem like to be careless. They seem to be careless. Yes, it's it's one of their fault, but at a certain point they are helpless also. Like they can't do anything about it with all this crowd, with all this crowd of people. It's hard to 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 do something there and help those those three guys. 
uh, unless you also you want to put yourself in trouble you're just a simple policeman and you're not know, policeman here they don't have guns yeah yeah it's not and like for us in africa they yeah because for us in africa the police once you start gathering and making crowds they will use tear gas yeah they use rubber bullets sometimes they even shoot in the air just yeah. to, to make you so afraid i don't know because as you've seen like i don't know if there was any policeman who was having yeah. a gun and if they were having guns how can you control such a crowd and help someone so truth is maybe they did something which was wrong like it yeah. said i don't know they assaulted i don't know a woman something like that i don't know yeah and another thing for indians if you misbehave around their girls yeah yeah true true, true. yeah even mm. it's not only that uh because you're a foreigner that they would come for even amongst themselves mm-hmm. if one uh misbehaves in front of their girl they will even attack that even though it's yet it's not something good yeah, to attack someone to attack someone without and, talking to them without letting th- like it's police which have to do justice not you as a person you are not like it's not good to do justice it's not good it's, this this is not good and yeah. if they did wrong that's not that doesn't seem good <laughs> There was a time some of my friends went out around past six and then the Indian guys were calling them, excuse me. Do you smoke? Do you have coke? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this this is one of the problem again with the media. The media shows Africans only when there was a drug case. Yeah. And such stuff. So it gives the impression to people that foreigners, if you want to get uh drugs if you want to get alcohol it's only from 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 foreigners because that's what the media is showing every day when there was a case a wrong thing in the city it's only when this happened but they don't show the good stuff which you do i don't know when you went for sport activities when you went i don't know for a donation activity when we do our tourism and whatever they don't show that they only show when they're wrong things and that's bring the image in people that we are drug dealers and whatever. and i don't think it's a good thing like it's a very wrong thing calling them excuse me do you smoke do you have coke hey baby girl how much for a night yeah 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 this one also about about disturbing girls yeah i have seen it i have seen it i think the problem the problem might be them thinking that you are too much free to do whatever you want uh and especially i don't know if it's only for for young boys but even for men i saw it once in the market like i was walking with another girl and a man was passing but you will see that he's doing it willing trying to force himself on the body of the girl <laughs> like trying to force himself on the body and you see that the girl is uncomfortable with it and she's trying to push him but the guy is forcing again himself like it's just that i wanted to control myself and i didn't want to react or so so hard but uh some of the indians also have this problem of thinking that african girls are free for anything I, i don't know if you ever got it also some of my friends even could text me i need numbers for a girl for one <laughs> night i need it's not a good thing african <laughs> girls are not prostitutes it's not if you see her dressing and whatever respect her the way she is <laughs> yeah yeah that, that that's when i think indians boys or i don't know men yeah. should know about that yeah it's not a good thing at all because after all we are all here for studies and mm-hmm. even them they are here for studies not yeah. for prostitution mm-hmm. and no matter how she dress she's not dressing to attract you it's maybe the the culture like it's something we are used to to dress in africa it might be different from one family to another but there like there are some of the things which can be normal in africa and maybe for an indian it's provocative yeah. i don't know if i can say so yes I'm sorry. When you go to rent apartment, the same room, the same everything they give to India at a very cheap rate. And when you as a foreigner come, the highs. The Indian guy. <laughs> yes, this one will leave it every day. This one will leave it every day. Like uh, uh I, I think the general idea behind that is a foreigner has more money. Yeah. Mm. And uh another thing I think cuz most foreigners they don't bargain So, oh yes 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 so mm. they i think when the problem is that when you're with foreigner i think most of them feel proud and they don't want to bargain mm-hmm. so obviously they are like the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, price yeah. but one thing that i've learned about indians if you feel shy to bargain yeah then you end up paying more but mm. you shouldn't feel shy about bargaining 
but gain until they reduce the prices mm. and yeah they end up most of the time cutting down their prices it close to me it's just three thousand why are they six thousand there was a lady and a child i think i think one other thing one other thing i saw this in most touristic places yeah like the rates between an indian and a foreigner is 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 too different yeah i also don't understand yeah, yeah. why it's so too much like that. i think i think there was a museum it was is that, that mahatma gandhi is yeah the mahatma gandhi museum the prices were 400 uh for foreigners yeah and even we had an indian if yeah you can get the reaction mm-hmm. it was like oh yes yes, yes yes for them it was 20 rupees yeah like, like it's not possible an indian to pay 20 rupees and then a foreigner 400 it's is 20 times 20 times no it's not 20 times <laughs> what's like uh it's like i don't know even the percentage 20, 20 times to 20, 20, 20, 20 times, times. Two is, is how much <laughs> Let me see hey, tw- yeah 20 20 times two it's 400 yeah 400. yeah so making pay someone 20 yeah, times the price times. of someone else i think it's it's something which can be revised <laughs> because I, I know in my country if you pay too much as a mm-hmm. foreigner if you go to visit maybe like for example to go and visit the, the mountain near Gongo, like that volcano mountain and and gorillas they pay something like four hundred dollar and then for foreigners yeah i think it's four hundred dollar four hundred dollars yeah and then for for foreigners for, usually for local people no for locals it's four hundred dollars like when oh. they take you there it's a camping a hotel wi-fi oh, everything okay. and cars and everything for locals and then for, for locals it's 400, it's 400. And, then and then for, for foreigners, foreigners it's just the double of it's 800 plus oh. for them they have a special service which they have translators and whatever that's what makes it to be like this oh. so imagine if it was 20 times that so it would be so high so i think mm-hmm. that's it's one of the things which i think the indian tourism stuff should work on not charging people that high price huh? we understand they're foreigners but it's not that they are it's a problem being a foreigner it's just three thousand why are they six thousand there was a lady and the child was the child was having issues with the mother i don't the mother know was <laughs> torn up. i don't know i don't know if you are, you will understand this story but it's a story which i think is based just on the negativity of the guy yeah. like he saw some people and then they the, the baby ran away from him i don't even take time on this because it's it's not good but there was something which he said Wait, look at him. he's going to take you away what kind of scaring is that because the kind of a child like that will grow up not wanting to associate with any kind of black person one, one of the things which i think is important from what he's saying is that uh like okay let's say let, let's take this case of of drug dealing when when maybe a parent told his child like uh africans are drug dealers there is no way that can go out of the mind exactly. so once it's there it will stick and the way the media portrays it like it can affect the mind so i think one of the points which is true from what he's saying is that uh it's not good to give a bad stereotypes to children especially because they will grow with it uh, and any day they can meet you in the street probably they will be afraid of you if they they know you like that yeah that should be a message for the parents to learn from not to give their children uh, stereotypes from the young age because yeah. it affects their minds and they think actually that's how those people that's the way they are mm-hmm. kind of a child like that we grew up no one to associate with any kind of black person some people even look at you as kids <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is true. <laughs> I don't know if this is true. Okay, on the spitting part. On the spitting part. It's I, common in India. I have a, I have a, another example like that. I remember <laughs> I was once debating with a friend who was saying like Indians are racist. I was like, okay, give me your story. What makes Indians racist? Mm-hmm. The guy told me that a man spat at him. Mm. I was like, okay, give me the details. I gave him a chance to express to me how mm. Indians are racist mm. they are. Mm. He was telling me that he was passing in front of a car mm-hmm. and then the guy just uh because you know the windows they always down yeah he just uh went through the window and spat mm. and i was like man that's the way how indians are have you seen their buildings have you mm-hmm. seen some hospitals mm-hmm. some important buildings like uh, yeah. government buildings people are spitting every time i asked him did mm. he spit like clear white saliva or mm. it was tobacco mm. and he told me it was tobacco i was like man come on 
people yeah, are spitting every time. They, so you know, do you don't know, you don't I don't think he did it uh, like he saw in the mirror and was like, oh, hmm. this black person is coming yeah, so yeah. mm, at mm, him. Mm, I think mm. it was something unconscious and because they don't say sorry. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, that, <laughs> so that maybe is one of the things. Thing. And yeah, I explained to the guy and he understood and he mm. changed his mind on that and he was like, okay, maybe it wasn't racism or something. Same people who done this for you go to your country to travel, to study. What do you think? How would your country people and you you as a resident, how would you treat them? Oh, actually, <laughs> uh, it should have been a way of paper, but that is not life. I don't want to let them if they come to my country. We respect foreigners in my country. You might be from this country or from that race or from this continent. We treat foreigners with respect and love. Now we have more than, more than 10 lakhs. Yes. The, 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 this is the thing I was I was I was looking for. Yeah. Actually, in Africa, like I think I think it's one of the place. Okay, it's the only place now in the whole world which is more open to foreigners. Is it to get a visa? Is it to settle? Is it to start a business? Is it to do whatever? So Indians are so many. Let me not take only. I don't know which country he is from. Yeah. In my country, there are so many that you can't even count them. And the good thing is that they live there. As just they are living in their own place and they even have so many privileges than even someone who, who is local. Yeah. So on that case, I don't know if it will ever happen for an Indian to say that he have been mistreated in Africa. I Maybe know. it can happen somewhere else, but not in Africa. I also don't think... They are even in, in parliaments of many governments in South no, Africa. In, like in our country, they wanted a tribe and I think they gave them a tribe. So I don't think there is an Indian who has been mistreated. Yeah, in yeah. Our like... Country. In uh, Africa is one of the most comfortable place on the earth. Like, I, 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 not it's it's one of the most comfortable. Like, it's the most comfortable place in the world where you don't need to go and do so many stuff to get a visa. You don't need to go and register for FRO each year. You don't need to. <laughs> yeah, man, that, that that stuff that stuff is hard. Every year going to register for the same thing, and you have a visa already. It's like, but in Africa it's so comfortable. Nobody will ever tell you to come and register for this. Come and do this. In fact, many many of them decide just to change themselves and be. Yeah. like locals because of the advantages which are there yeah and if you ever meet an indian who is from africa they will they are they are so proud of, yeah, yeah yeah they are so proud of coming from africa yeah. and mm -hmm. being african yeah. more than they are proud of being indian sure sorry, sure i saw that i saw that too i yeah. saw that too uh when uh like a family of people who went from india to africa and then maybe children grew up in africa when they come to india they feel as if they are proud of being more african than being indian i yeah. don't know why and, i don't know why and it's, some, it's not me who's saying it yeah and some of them uh put on like african wear yes like african yes clothes. And, yeah even and, representing africa like, yeah like, even they even in my school they represent africa in my and, school uh, I kind of, they motivate me to like... <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. When you see someone else yeah. putting effort in being African, it's motivating also on yeah. liking your own country. Like, it's, it, it's good. 21 million Indians in my country. And they live in peace. They cherish all what we cherish. You can't really give them what they need. And we try our best to socialize with people around us, people from different countries, different cultures. Yeah. So I feel it's going to be a different experience for them. Sure. They actually enjoy coming to our country. We are all one. Forget the skin. Yes, we are all one. We should forget the, the stupid skins. So, anything to learn from this video? Oh. Anything to learn from this video? One thing which I can say first, one mm. thing which I can say first is that uh, the media has the power of changing our mind. And there are a lot of things which we learn from the media, especially if I can go on this side of racism. Uh, the media can seem to be as if it's trying to educate us when they're just doing the job of attracting our attention on them. I think when they do a such video, mm. it portrays to an African that India is a bad place. Don't go yeah. there. They will do wrong to you. They will do this. They will do this. They will spit on you. They will call you this. They will call you a dog. They will call you a monkey. And yeah, cause it have never happened to me and I'm living here for two cause years. Because the introduction of this video is so yeah. like, oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do these things happen to people like, mm. no, not like, of course they happen to people, some of them, but when you see the introduction, like India is not a place a place for black men. You're like, oh, 
then why would I come here and and I think I think uh, uh, for us for us Africans African nationalities and and black in general I think one of the things which we need to learn is not to complain about everything because yeah. sometimes something can be done not because of you and then you take it in a negative way and you try and complain because okay one thing which is true is that black have been victim of many things it be in europe it be in asia it be in america they have been slaves for so long and people have been doing this and that and this time when they're trying to wake up it's uh like uh that trying to revenge over everything they want to react over everything they want to fight everything and that defensive spirit can make them to feel as if they have something to attack against everyone so i think we just need to open our mind and see where do i need to uh to 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 react what what, what is the thing which is going to make me a real african being a real african is not fighting when you see someone calling you kalia being a real african is being proud of dressing african way being proud of Afri- of having an african name being proud of calling yourself an african you being have an proud african of, name <laughs> like, like, i don't have an african name <laughs> like, yeah but but at least like it's something which i learned it's something which i learned there is no way no matter how i can try there is no way i can be good in being an american there is yeah. no because an american is an american a european is a european an indian is an indian yeah. no matter how i can try to fake myself to be them i will never be them but if i try to fake myself to be an african there is no way also an indian can copy me because yeah. me i'm original man there is nobody who can copy me at least even if i don't have an african <laughs> name at least i know I know two languages from Africa so <laughs> <laughs> oh but there are, but there are some african <laughs> indians who know <laughs> it's okay it's okay it's okay <laughs> i'm not here to compare myself but i'm just proud of being an african simple simple <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah by the way one of the other things which i should say guys please reduce your trust on the media uh me uh, it's something which i developed since early i don't know if i can say when i was since in my 16 years old something like that reduce your trust on the media not everything which you see especially with this media news whatever not everything which you see mean that they are right or what they're saying is true because at a certain level at a certain level they're just doing their job they need to be recognized they need to attract your, your attention so if you try to follow everything of what they will be showing if you try to follow everything of what they'll be saying sometimes you can get lies yes i don't say don't receive what they give you but go and check for yourself yeah get an african friend talk to him see if they're good with their drug dealers or not yeah because sometimes the stories that they are sharing are snippets and they don't give the full back story of everything sure 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 so thank you so much for watching this video if you reached up to the end i'm really proud of you it's a very good thing thank you so much for that and one thing which you just need to do is keep that strength that love between africans and indians and that's why we are making this such kind of content we are actually now in india it's for us an opportunity to create a good community which can help us in yeah. being good friends so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you want to watch more of my other videos you can get them also and also we'll ask you one more thing please check videos of other africans who make videos here in india it will help you to know at least more about the african culture and how do africans live in india and uh, you can get the link of everything in the description all i can say is that let's love each other and fellow africans let's be proud of our skin color and don't get angry when someone calls you kaya every time be proud of your skin color let's own our skin color and because i don't ever see a white person uh, getting angry because they are called white <laughs> <laughs> but why should we get angry when we yeah. are called black so if you're black yeah own the you own your skin color and be proud of it thank yes. you for watching the video till the end and see you next time yes what he just said is true i'm a black i'm very proud of my skin i'm very proud of everything i have i'm very proud of africa and i will represent africa everywhere in the world i'm so proud of that thing thank you so much for being here see you